the number of people who are connected to that download. A seed is a user who has finished downloading and is now giving to others whose downloads are not yet finished, like you. A peer is a person who has not yet completed the download. Basically, until you're finished downloading, you're a peer. Never begin downloading from a torrent that has zero seeds. This means that not a single person connected to that torrent has a complete copy of the download. So therefore, it is unlikely your download will ever be complete. This particular download has 270 seeds and 53 peers. 270 is plenty of people to make for a quick download. In order to begin downloading, you must first download the torrent file associated with that torrent download. No matter what BitTorrent search site you end up at, the option to download the torrent will be present. A window will appear confirming that I want to download the torrent file. Many BitTorrent search sites allow the search results to be sorted by the number of seeds. This means that the first few search results listed are the most likely to download quick. An easy way to check many search sites is to type what you're looking for into Google together with the word current. This method works well for locating hard to find downloads. You may find yourself adding in a few extra details to narrow the search. It is important to note that this torrent file is not the video itself, but instead a small file which contains information regarding the video you intend to download, in this case, Casablanca. Agree to save or open the file. The small torrent file now appears in my downloads window. Attempt to open that download and you'll discover that the BitTorrent client appears instead. And on the screen are the details of the files I'm attempting to download. When the arrow goes from pointing down to pointing up, it means that you're no longer downloading and that your download is complete and your movie is ready to watch. To find out where your movie is in the computer, simply find the setting that describes the download's target or destination folder. In Options, Preferences, and Directories, you'll find a setting called Put New Downloads In. This means that the movie I just downloaded can be found on the H drive, the Michael folder, and in the Downloads subfolder. Internet browsers like Firefox, Google Chrome, and Internet Explorer all have similar settings that allow you to see and change where the browser places new downloads. In the BitTorrent program, you'll find a similar grid of rows and columns that you saw in My Computer. And like the My Computer program, you can add, remove, sort, and alter the columns for ease of use. These kinds of grids are common throughout Windows. With BitTorrent, it is the columns that contain the name, seeds, Ears, size, up limit, down speed, and ETA, which are most essential. The name is obviously the title of the download. The seeds is the number of people who have completed the download and are still connected. The peers is the number of people, other than yourself, who are downloading the same file you are. The size column shows how big the total download is. The up limit describes the maximum speed you are willing to give others. The down speed column shows how fast the download is streaming into your computer, while the ETA column shows an approximate time for completion. After a day or so of giving back to the BitTorrent community, simply remove the download. Removing the download off of the BitTorrent list does not remove the file from your computer. It simply disconnects you from the community of other people who are downloading the same file. A common misconception is that your computer can be infected with a virus by downloading the wrong video or audio file. This is simply not true. Audio and video is interpreted data, not executed data. You can be infected with virus-like software while at a torrent search site, but the music or movie itself cannot contain a virus. Downloading software and video games, however, can expose you to viruses. In order to burn DVDs that can be used in any common DVD player as opposed to computers only, 
your DVD must meet certain requirements. First, the DVD must be burned using the ISO 9660 plus UDF file format. Secondly, the video must be in true DVD format. Videos in true DVD format can be identified by the folder that says Video TS. Inside this folder, you'll find a series of files that begin with DTS. When purchasing blank DVDs, I recommend discs labeled DVD-R. Most movies on the net are not in DVD form, but downloads that already are in DVD form will usually be listed as such on the BitTorrent search sites. Making copies of DVDs you already own can be tricky if it's under copyright protection because Windows will not allow the copying of these kinds of DVDs. A program that decrypts the DVD is needed, and for this, a free program called DVD Decryptor is ideal. Simply enter in your DVD drive and the target folder and begin decryption. For common computer users, the control button is probably the most neglected key on the keyboard. But this shouldn't be so. The control button can save the average user tons of time, no matter what program they're using. And, as with most things, a little practice is required, but you'll soon discover the control button pulling its weight. First, we'll review text editing. By holding down the control button and pressing the left button, the text cursor moves left by whole words instead of a single space. This makes returning to a misspelled word a couple of words back much easier than hitting the left button 20 times. Pressing the right arrow button does the same thing, but instead moves right. The control and combination moves the cursor to the bottom of the document. The control home combination moves to the beginning of the document. Each day new software is created, and each day programs are changing how software operates. Luckily for us, almost all software out there has the exact same options. This means that memorizing certain key combinations can save you time no matter what kind of software you're using. First of the standard menu options is File. The File menu option is where documents or projects are opened, saved, or printed. New opens a new document, often closing the current document. The Save option saves the current file under the current name. The Save As option saves the current file but indicates that you want to change its name or location. The Open option opens a new document or project. And Print is where the current document is sent to the printer. Notice the shortcut keys to the right of the option's title. Control N for New, Control S for Save, Control O for Open, and Control P for Print. In the next menu option, called Edit, we see Cut, Copy, Paste, Select All, Clear, Undo, and Find. The Cut option removes the currently selected text or object and readies it to be placed elsewhere. The Copy option copies the selected text, but does not remove it from the document. The Paste option places the copied text at the cursor location. If you recall, we copied, cut, and pasted from one folder to another. The Select All option simply selects all of the content in the current document. Clear removes whatever content is selected, and the Undo option undoes the last action taken in that program. The Find option is another common feature that allows you to find where certain words are located within the document. Please take note of the shortcut keys associated with each of the options. Control X for Cut, Control C for Copy, Control V for Paste, Control A for Select All. The Delete button